Hello, I'm Pat Harrison, Buick's marketing line manager for the new family of Roadmasters. A little bit of history. Way back in 1936, when Edward VIII abdicated the British throne and became the Duke of Windsor, he left behind his crown, but not his Buick. This 1939 Roadmaster sedan was his car of choice all through World War II. Roadmasters were the king of the road for 23 years, from the mid-1930s to the late 1950s. Roadmaster is a name that still shouts Buick and makes you think of words like big, powerful, roomy, comfortable, and luxurious. This video will introduce the 1992 Roadmaster and Roadmaster Limited full-size, efficient, luxury sedans that round out Buick's new Roadmaster family. Why has Buick brought back full-size rear-drive luxury cars now, especially when we've got two very successful full-size front-wheel drive automobiles on the market, the Park Avenue and LeSabre? Because, as you'll see, Roadmaster appeals to a very different kind of buyer than the Park Avenue and LeSabre. And second, we know there's a demand for these cars. You're looking at the Ford Crown Victoria, Mercury Grand Marquis, and Lincoln Town Car. These are three full-size rear-drive luxury cars that are being driven by owners who remain staunchly loyal to these cars. In fact, most of these people have been driving past your showroom ever since 1985 when the last rear-drive full-size Buick was taken off the market. Until now, that is, when you're going to be able to offer prospects a truly superior buy and value. Buick Roadmaster. How much demand is there for rear-wheel drive cars? Even in the large and large luxury market, a segment in which most new cars are front-wheel drive, 600,000 rear-wheel drive cars still sell every year in the United States. 600,000 is about as many cars as Buick sells altogether in a year. And 84% of trade-ins for one of those Ford rear-wheel drive cars are old rear-wheel drive cars, and half of those are GM defectors. That's the heart of the market for Buick's new Roadmaster sedans. What are these fiercely loyal, full-size, rear-wheel drive luxury car owners looking for? To begin with, a car that's large, roomy, and comfortable. Next, a car that's got a powerful engine and superior ride quality. Classic, yet contemporary styling. In other words, a very distinctive car. And finally, two characteristics that really sum up Roadmaster. First, high value. In that regard, we state without qualification that Roadmaster is one of the highest value American rear wheel drive luxury cars on the market. And second, the feeling of extra safety that comes from Roadmaster's size, plus the fact that it's built on a full perimeter frame. How do these 1992 Roadmaster sedans measure up to what those prospects want? Let's find that out right now. Hello, I'm Frank Porter, Buick's product line manager for the Roadmaster sedans. As we preview the features and benefits of the Roadmasters in just a moment, it will be obvious that they are terrifically successful in meeting the needs of the full-size rear drive owners that Pat Harrison described. But in addition, it's amazing to see just how much the 1992 Roadmasters have been improved over previous rear-drive Buicks, like the 1985 LeSabre. Many of you remember this car personally. You not only sold it, you drove it yourself. What is it going to be like to take your first drive in a 1992 Roadmaster sedan? Here are some of the key differences to look for in the new Roadmaster. Improved powertrain greater roominess, ride and handling improvements, new safety features, many improved and additional standard and optional comfort and convenience features, 
and of course the vast improvements in Buick's overall quality in recent model years. Quality is what buyers want. Quality is what Buick provides. One big difference between front-wheel drive Buicks and this rear-wheel drive Roadmaster is the way they're built. Front-wheel drive Buicks are built on a platform. The body, floor and frame are welded together to create a rigid unit, unibody construction. For the 1992 Roadmaster, this steel frame is the foundation for the body and powertrain components. The structure is supported by the wheels and Buick's smooth Dynaride suspension. Many rear-wheel drive buyers like full-frame construction because they associate it with safety. Now let's take a close-up look at the 1992 Roadmaster sedan. The first thing that Roadmaster sedan prospects will be excited about is that it's distinctive prestigious, substantial, powerful, and luxurious. Roadmaster is one of the highest value American rear wheel drive luxury sedans on the market, right down to its gleaming paint. It's one of the finest paint jobs of any GM car. Roadmaster's finish is protected by clear coat enamel and a smooth urethane anti-chip material on the lower. The 1992 Roadmaster sedan is big, it's almost 216 inches long and weighs over 4,000 pounds. It's Buick's longest and heaviest sedan. But as you'll see, it's a very efficient big car because of its rounded aerodynamic styling, flush glass, and new powertrain. You can see the tremendous power in the design of this distinctive grille. Wait till you see the power behind the grille. Roadmaster looks as powerful going away as coming at you. In designing the new Roadmaster, Buick paid a lot of attention to safety. There's a standard driver's airbag, standard tilt steering wheel that's leather wrapped on the Limited. Anti-lock brakes are standard. Child-proof door locks are standard. Optional self-sealing white wall tires can instantly seal any tread puncture 3 16 of an inch or less in diameter. That's 90% of all likely tread punctures. There's even a feature in Roadmaster's trunk that makes for added peace of mind. This cargo net will help keep several full bags of groceries firmly in place, even if you have to brake hard. Roadmaster's trunk is Buick's biggest, 20.4 cubic feet. It also has a remote trunk release. On the Limited, you don't even have to remember to lock the doors. Just shift into drive, and the doors lock automatically. Shift back into park, and the doors unlock automatically. Say Roadmaster, and many people think power. The 1992 Roadmaster really lives up to that promise. This standard 5.7 liter V8 churns out 180 horsepower and 290 foot-pounds of torque. It's the most powerful engine in any GM luxury car. But as powerful as it is, thanks to throttle body fuel injection and computer-controlled engine management, this engine gets terrific mileage. EPA estimated highway mileage is 25. That's only four miles per gallon less than a car like the mid-sized Taurus gets. Roadmaster estimated city mileage is 16. Other engine features that boost efficiency include double honed cylinders, low friction piston rings, and roller valve lifters. Roadmaster's four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive is another feature that builds efficiency, smoothness, and power. I can't feel the shifting as I start to drive. With Roadmaster's 23-gallon tank, it's Buick's biggest tank, you can drive 575 non-stop highway miles. In fact, six adults, luggage and all, could drive across the U.S. for about $20 a piece for gas. One thing that makes long trips so easy in Roadmaster is this extra thick hood insulator. It's one and a half inches thick and really helps keep engine noise under the hood. Long trips are tempting in Roadmaster because besides safety, power, and efficiency, Roadmaster is extremely roomy and designed for comfort. You might think that a car with an interior this luxurious, this spacious, was designed strictly for Texas-sized drivers. I've still got almost two inches above my hat. But shorter people also love driving Roadmaster because of new steering technology that's standard on the Limited. It's called variable effort steering. 
At highway speeds, this system operates like typical power-assisted steering. But at parking lot speeds, it automatically provides more power assist. The result is, it's just as easy for a featherweight to park as a heavyweight. If these power seat controls on the Limited look different, that's because these seats are different. They're even built in a different way. Roadmaster Limited's 5545 seats are a split frame. Here's what that means. The back is independent. No matter how you adjust the seat, the back stays where you want it. And when you do want to adjust the back, the recliners are electric. Roadmaster Limited front seat backs also include three power inflatable lumbar supports. You can change them to suit the exact comfort of any driver or front seat passenger. Here, watch. Even the Limited's headrests are adjustable six ways, two ways in the base model. To most people, comfort also means quiet. The engineers set out to make Roadmaster one of the quietest cars in its class. When they finished, they had created a whole new quiet package. Roadmaster's quiet package is all over the car. This is a new fiberglass headliner. Under the instrument panel padding, the sound absorber is thicker, and in the engine side barrier, the dash mat, and under the rear window insert panel. In addition, Roadmaster's side windows are five millimeters thick. The industry standard is only four millimeters. Under the hood, besides the extra thick hood insulator, they also modified the air cleaner to decrease reverberations. Roadmaster also offers plenty of storage space with these front and rear built-in storage compartments in all the doors. There's a standard pull-out storage tray. The front storage armrest is one of the biggest in the industry. Roadmaster even features a new optional solar windshield that keeps out almost five times as much solar energy as regular tinted glass. Even in a car this roomy, it takes just half the time to cool it down by air conditioning. In addition to safety, power, roominess, and comfort, Roadmaster is one really high-value, affordable Buick. Naturally, air conditioning is standard. The Limited is equipped with electronic touch climate control. There's full analog instrumentation that's easy to read at a glance, because when the gauge needles point up, the driver knows all readings are normal. Other standard equipment includes cruise control, electric rear window defogger, a distinctive four-note Roadmaster horn, front reading lamps in the rear view mirror, covered vanity mirrors, lit on the Limited, power windows with drivers expressed down, ETR AM FM stereo with seek and scan and a clock. The Limited adds cassette and power antenna. The Limited also includes power outside rear view mirrors. The driver's side is heated to get rid of ice and mist fast. This remote keyless entry system is standard on the Limited. And these electroluminescent coach lamps are also standard on the Limited. Roadmaster sedan options are also right on the bullseye for prospects for these cars. Roadmaster offers a trailer towing package that can handle 5,000 pounds. A limited slip differential is also available. A full-size spare tire. Landau vinyl top. Compact disc player with graphic equalizer and concert sound speakers. And custom locking wire wheel covers. A complete Roadmaster product presentation is sure to impress a prospect, especially if you build in the Buick quality story. For buyers of full-size luxury cars, quality is at the top of the list of what they're looking for. Of course, what's really going to knock their socks off is a good long demo drive. And not just prospects will be impressed. Chances are many of you haven't driven a rear-wheel drive car in years, maybe never. Even if you have, treat yourself like a prospect for this car and take it out on the road. You'll see why it's called Roadmaster. Here's why the demo drive is especially important with every serious prospect for the Roadmaster. A demo drive will double your chances of making a sale. That's right, double your chances. That's not hype, that's demonstrated proven fact. 
Be sure to tailor your demo drive to the primary interest of your prospect, including what the spouse is interested in. He might be interested in performance, and she in a quiet ride. Or it could be the other way around. Before you help your prospect spouse buckle up in the back and your prospect in front, compare Roadmaster's sleek aerodynamic styling one more time with the boxy look of the Lincoln Town Car and get the spouse to comment on Roadmaster's excellent rear seat headroom. It's a half inch more than town car. The best way to keep your prospect thinking about Roadmaster value is for you to drive first to demonstrate various features. That way, the demo drive continues your showroom presentation. Let your prospect drive only after you're ready. The power and smoothness of the 5.7 liter V8 is a great beginning for a Roadmaster demo drive. There's no larger engine in any full-size domestic luxury car. A good way to highlight all that power is by accelerating onto a highway or pulling away from a toll booth. Remind your prospects of Roadmaster's high horsepower and torque, excellent mileage estimates, and highway range. In a car this big and luxurious, tell your prospects again that those impressive figures are possible only because of Roadmaster technology like fuel injection, reduced friction, electronics, and four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive. If you can, get your primary prospect to comment on the car's power and smoothness. Once you're at highway speed, reinforcing a couple of important characteristics will build Roadmaster value. First, and this ranks really high, is the smoothness of the ride. Roadmaster's ride is not only smooth, it's very controllable. That all results from the DynaRide suspension, engineered just for this car. From Roadmaster's unique tires, big P235 70R15 steel belted radials, and from variable effort steering, which is standard on the Limited. Your passengers need to know what this steering system does. At highway speeds, it works like regular power steering, and there's almost none of those tiny little steering corrections that are necessary with cars that don't have variable effort steering. Later, you should talk about how this system works at parking lot speeds. The second thing to point out at highway speeds is how quiet Roadmaster is. Here's a great way to demonstrate how quiet this car is. Open your window all the way. Let them hear the outside noise. And then close the window. This luxurious quiet is due partly to Roadmaster's flush glass and its sleek aerodynamic styling, which you pointed out again right before the drive. And it's partly due to Roadmaster's exclusive quiet package, which you talked about in the showroom. Invite your prospects to feel the solid fiberglass headliner Remind them of the thicker hood insulation you showed them in the showroom. Remind them of the other special Roadmaster insulation. And get your rear seat passenger to comment on how quiet the ride is back there. Once you're off the highway, go to a rough dirt road or even some railroad tracks. The reason is to create the opportunity to demonstrate Roadmaster's smooth, quiet ride at slow speeds. Okay, you're ready now to let your prospect take over and to move the spouse into the front passenger seat. You'll be riding in back. When you get out, be sure to put the driver's seat all the way back and tilt the seat back as well. This will ensure your prospect has all the room they need getting in. This is also the time to show the advantages of Roadmaster Limited special split frame seats with the three power lumbar supports. Please take the time to carefully adjust the seats for both your prospect and companion. When you're parking to switch drivers, it's a good time to demonstrate how easy it is to maneuver Roadmaster into a tight space between cars. Roadmaster really feels very nimble. There's one more Roadmaster feature you need to talk about, anti-lock brakes. Anti-lock brakes are difficult to actually demonstrate unless you're in a genuine panic stop situation. But it's easy to explain what anti-lock brakes do. ABS provides good steering control in sudden or panic stops, even in bad road conditions, like ice or other slippery surfaces. Everybody sells new cars in their own personal way, including the demo drive. So do it your way.
But whatever you do, demonstrate the Roadmaster. Remember, a demo drive can double your chances of making the sale. Double your chances. We're going to put this Roadmaster sedan against three of the toughest competitors on the market. Lincoln's 1991 town car, Ford's redesigned 1992 Crown Victoria, and Mercury's new 1992 Grand Marquis. And because the Ford and Mercury share many components and design philosophy with Lincoln, we'll be able to show you what to look for on this town car. All three competitors are full-size, six-passenger rear-wheel drive perimeter frame cars with big trunks, V8 engines, and all the traditional big car cues. But under the skin, Roadmaster offers your traditional buyer so much more. Roadmaster has standard anti-lock brakes. Town Car, Grand Marquis, and Crown Victoria only offer them as an extra cost option. Under the hood, Town Car has the industry's first mass-produced overhead cam V8. With 210 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque, it's a good engine. But, Roadmaster's is not only larger, it also has more torque. And Roadmaster's larger engine also gives your prospects better estimated highway mileage. And coupled with its larger fuel tank, Roadmaster drivers can go over 100 miles further on every tank of gas. While you're under the hood, point out these serviceability advantages. Roadmaster's windshield washer reservoir holds more than a gallon so there's no more partially filled bottles of washer fluid rattling around in the trunk. Town Car's reservoir holds just a fraction over two quarts. You have to just about stand on your head to change a fuse in a Town Car. Both Crown Victoria and Grand Marquis put the fuse center in this same hard to get at place. <sighs> Makes you wonder why, doesn't it? Look how much easier changing a fuse can be on Roadmaster. All you have to do is open this convenient panel, and there they are. Inside, Roadmaster advantages begin with roominess. Here in front, Roadmaster has more headroom and shoulder room. And in back, Roadmaster also has more headroom, hip room, and shoulder room than Town Car, Crown Victoria, or Grand Marquis. Here's more. Roadmaster's front armrest has two storage compartments. Town Car, Grand Marquis, and Crown Vic have no armrest storage at all. Roadmaster also has a handy storage tray. Again, Town Car, Grand Marquis, and Crown Victoria don't. Roadmaster Limited has an automatic power antenna. When you turn off the radio to go through the car wash, you know your antenna is safe. While Lincoln has a similar design for Town Car, the switch on Grand Marquis and Crown Victoria must be operated manually. Roadmaster also has larger tires, door edge guards, and wheel opening moldings, wet arm windshield washers, express down power driver's window, and a tachometer, all is standard equipment. Town Car, Grand Marquis, and Crown Victoria don't. And here's one more story traditional big car buyers will really appreciate. Town Car advertises that it has the largest trunk in its class. True. With a little over 22 cubic feet, it's a bit larger than Roadmaster's. But let's take a look at usable trunk space. Here in Roadmaster's trunk, look how flat and accessible the load floor is. Here on Town Car, look how much lower the floor of the trunk is. You have to bend way down here just to reach the bottom for this bag of groceries. The big difference, of course, is the fact that Roadmaster's trunk is much more accessible and convenient to use. Roadmaster has one more big advantage, bottom line value. With all that Roadmaster offers, it's priced within a few dollars of Crown Victoria and Grand Marquis. Compared with Town Car, however, Roadmaster has a stunning price advantage of $6,699. In the luxury car market, that could be the greatest luxury of all. Put these advantages to work for you during your showroom presentation, out on the lot, or out on your demo drives. And remember, even more competitive information will be available in the planned June 1991 supplement of your competitive manual. At the beginning of this video, I raised the question of why Buick is bringing back full-size 
rear drive luxury cars now, especially since Park Avenue is such a success? The answer is that we know there's a special market for Roadmaster that's different than the market for Park Avenue. They appeal to different kinds of buyers. Let's look at some of the differences between these buyers. Roadmaster prospects are interested in a large car with good, comfortable ride and large cargo capacity. They're also looking for what they think of as reliable technology. If a prospect for a 1992 car drives up in a rear-wheel drive trade-in, it's a good bet that Roadmaster is the car you should present, even if price is not a consideration. On the other hand, a prospect who drives up in a front-drive car will probably be interested in Park Avenue. Other good Park Avenue indicators are when the prospect seems to be image-conscious, preferring contemporary styling, and a car that's larger than midsize but with excellent fuel efficiency. With two full-size luxury cars, Buick is surging ahead in the market segment that has always been rich Buick territory. With these two terrific cars and with your help, we can do it. Some of the best prospects for the Roadmaster estate wagon are people who are considering buying or even replacing a minivan. Many minivan buyers have regretted their purchase. Here's why. It's a real struggle for anyone to convert a minivan from passenger to cargo layout. On the other hand, converting Roadmaster estate wagon from passenger to cargo takes 15 seconds. That little demonstration you just saw is a great persuader, but you have to qualify your prospects to learn how they plan to use their car. Roadmaster State Wagon even carries more passengers, eight compared with seven in a minivan. On top of that, there's nothing elegant and luxurious about a minivan because trucks just aren't elegant or luxurious. And Roadmaster State Wagon drives like a passenger car because it is a passenger car. If your prospects need cargo capacity more than a few times a year, they should give Roadmaster Estate Wagon serious consideration. But remember, all of these Roadmaster Wagon Persuaders will work for you only if you use them to your advantage. There's no big secret to how you can get your prospects to take delivery of a new Roadmaster sedan like this one. In today's competitive market, personal service can make the difference in who gets the sales, and you can make the difference in personal service. For some time now, Buick has been spotlighting Roadmaster at auto shows and in Buick News to develop lists of prospects for you to convert into Roadmaster buyers. People who want more information on Roadmaster are being asked to fill out cards or call an 800 number. The response has been enormous and will even be greater when the national advertising begins. Buick is answering these requests with a thank you letter and a Roadmaster catalog or video. Then Buick will send your dealership a list of qualified local prospects who intend to buy within the next few months. When that list reaches your dealership, it's your turn at bat. Call these prospects right away. Remember, they've told us they're interested in a Roadmaster. When you call, make it relaxed and easy for them to respond. You can start by asking what they liked about Roadmaster that prompted them to ask for more information. Lead their interest along by asking what they're looking for, color, equipment, price range, and whether they intend to buy, lease, or finance. Ask whether they intend to buy now or within a few months. Ask if they have a trade-in and what it is. If you can, find out how much they want for it. Now ask if they'd rather come to the dealership to see the Roadmaster or have you bring the car to them. Whatever their answers, follow your initial calls immediately with a note thanking them for their time and interest. Tell them you'll keep in touch so that you can serve them whenever they're ready to buy. Of course, if they ask for a demo drive right away, <laughs> you're way ahead. How and when should you follow up your first call to prospects? That's easy. Whenever anything that could move their decision to buy comes along, call or write your prospect immediately. 
for instance. Tell them when your dealership gets in a Roadmaster with the features they want and is available for a demo drive. Or tell them that you found a prospect for their trade-in and want to know when they can bring in their old car. Between phone calls, send them brochures, articles, road test results, magazine reprints, anything to spark your connection. Keep track of where your prospects are in the purchase process. Keep tabs on each prospect. And keep each prospect moving ahead toward the decision to buy a Roadmaster from you. Of all the Buicks you're selling right now, these Roadmasters are probably the ones that appeal the most to prospects who demand traditional, proven technology and features. And think about this. There's probably no more effective way of matching up a Roadmaster to one of these prospects than by reflecting the same values when selling them the car. Traditional patience, courtesy, and back-to-basics product knowledge, enthusiasm, and follow-up. Roadmaster. It's always been a great name from Buick's past. Now, it's a great name in your future.